Hello guys, welcome to the next episode of Avon Colony with me, Biffa. Thank you very much for joining me. So we've been working away at our nice colony here. We set up a greenhouse in the last episode. Uh, what is that one making? That is making melons. That is also making melons. Can I change that to wheat and have that as melons? Ah, high growth, low growth. That's something I didn't look at when I placed that next to here, did I? Should have maybe checked that out, but never mind. So, what do we get in here? Lots of electricity. We're going to get wheat, broccoli. I wonder if we could change for something else. Quinoa, rice, basic food staple. That can be used to make beer. Yeah, we'll leave it on that. We'll leave it on that. We've got the melons going here for our trading, which have been going well. So, he's loading the cargo. We're almost at 100 population. We're at 77. And exporting melons. Let's export 100 melons. This should be it. This should be loading some of the melons that we have. Importing, exporting. There we go. So they're hopefully going. Loading cargo. Nearly done. Let's speed that up. There we go. Is that done? Is that taking the melons? Hopefully it is. Uh, trade ship. Oh, I see. And then when that gets there... Air quality alert. Pour in parts of your colony. Show overlay. Hey there. Where's the air quality pour? Mm, it's okay. It's not overly great over here, is it? But that's probably because it's next to the geothermal doodab. Uh, will affect your colonist's health if it continues to drop. Build additional intake fans or air filters to oxygenate and purify the colony's internal atmosphere. So we probably could do with something I'm around here. I'm urgent messages about deteriorating air quality in the colony. Is everything okay down It's there? fine. Leave me alone. Let's turn that off. So we added an intake fan here. Uh, we've got tier 2 intake fans. We've got air filters. Mm, much more expensive than the air intake, but also more efficient and is not vulnerable to toxic gas emissions. I wonder whether we should just stick one of those in here. It's not letting me attach there. What have we got there? Oh, we've got like a piece of road there. Let's... Let's do that. Add that out there. Let's add one of these in here then. An air filter. No, nope, R doesn't rotate. No! Do not build, build there. Council. Oh, thank goodness for that. Let's try that again. Let's put one of those here and see if that see if that helps. Hopefully it will. What have we got arriving? Oh, the trade. Does that mean they've done their lemons? Melons. I'm pretty sure I did get it to do the export the hundred melons. Loading cargo. It doesn't seem to be doing it. Oh there we go, look, we've done that one. Let's have another look at the overlay. Quite. See, this is quite low over here. Maybe we just need a little, a little thing over here as well. Let's have an intake fan. See, so we can build this bit up. Blocked. There we go. You can build over there, and we'll see how that goes. Oh, what's this? Storage full. Darn it. Okay. Uh, storage resource management. Let's pause a second. Can we upgrade our storage? Let's turn that off. So one of these is storage, isn't it? Mini storage depot. Nope. 999 repair, recycle. Do we have any other storage? That's nanite. Storage module. These don't upgrade. They just get repaired. Okay. Well, let's see what we can get. So that's like a mini storage depot. That's one of these. Storage. What does that hold? Large quantity of resources. That's a research centre. Maybe we'll go for one of these. Oh, wow, that is big, isn't it? Um, that could probably go over here. Yeah, there we go. I feel like I want to have a run of roads down there. Let's actually make the game play. Oh, my goodness. So, we've had that one. Exported 100 melons. So, we've done that. Do we get anything for that? I don't know. Immigration vessel docks. Yep, that's fine. Storage four, we're doing that one. Objective complete. Excellent. Still getting the air quality in the storage four. We know about that one. Well, let's look at our new missions. 
And now that you've built the second construction drone hub, select the cargo pod and press the pickup button. This will order construction drone to retrieve it. Of course, we had this one way over here. So let's pick up that. And one of these drones will come out, grab the corn, the nanites, and the rice. Is the air quality still poor? I mean, it's not brilliant, is it? But I don't know how far the effect is of these air filter tier 2. Let's just have a look. Let's take that off. Plus 70.7 .7 air quality. Doesn't seem to be like an overall... Oh, F1's a toggle. There we go. Doesn't seem to be like an overall thing that can give us a total of what... I mean, that's going up. That's looking a bit green. As opposed to yellow. 69, 69. I'm wondering whether 70 is like the cutoff point. Let's put some of these in. Let's turn that off. Um, let's add one over this side. How much are these costing me, by the way? Ten nanites. We have 251 left. Let's see how that does. Whether that helps, hopefully. So it's still 69. That's gone up to 70. That's gone up to 70. Things are getting cold. Okay. How is this going to work during the winter? This should be fine. This is still going. Oh, we can actually upgrade that as well. Hmm, okay. Well, we're doing all right on food. I don't particularly want to add any more at the moment. Oh, look at that. Hmm. Okay, we've got the reward for that. Nanites and beer. We've got the reward for that. More nanites. Yep, we've got that one. It's still telling us that the air's... Oh, look, this is all going up to green. Maybe in the middle there. Depends on air filters. Yeah. That's built up. This is still not brilliant. It's this area over here. This really hasn't done much for us. Let's have one of those as well. And then we'll just stop at that. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Oh, what's this? Potash deposits. Okay. Interesting. What else is there? Potash, iron, zoium produces electricity. More potash. Uh, iron mine, yet yeah, we're getting that one. There's one over here. What's that? Oh, another geothermal vent. Okay, interesting. Housing overlay. Life support. Oh, that means it's full. Okay. And that's got space. Alright, yep. Good. So I'm mostly, mostly happy. 54% unhappiness. Okay. Let's turn that off. Let's do the next mission. I need your help to balance our supplies on the colony ship. Oh my goodness. Thank you for the melons. I could really use some rice up here. 160 rice. What we could do is... Let's produce some barley. That's producing melons. We change that to rice. And then if we come into here... Oh, melons are being eaten. That's fine. That's good. Got lots of those. So let's get that growing rice. That will do that one. We have a new request for you, boss. Let's build an energy battery to store up some of your colony's spare electricity. We don't have much spare. An energy battery can increase, can increase the efficiency of up to eight adjacent power generating buildings. So try to place it next to your solar panels or your... Oh, right, okay. That is interesting. Energy battery T1, 2, 3. Zoium generator, we saw those, didn't we? Well, the only thing I can really place that next to... Because my other ones are in here, aren't they? Where are they? Here. So I can place it next to this. Well, I'm just thinking, actually, because if we place it next to that... If we had another generator over here somewhere... I suppose we'll keep that in mind in the future. Let's place that... There. And then in the future, if you want to add any more power-producing items, they can go next to this energy battery. I think that would help. Let's have a quick sip of tea. 
Lovely. Let's have a look how things are going here. Food per colonist is low, but we've got plus 11.8, but they're taken away from there. Hmm. What can I do with this? Potash would give me a 40% bonus. That would be good. Oh, we've got a new mission. I would take these first because... Oh, there we go. Thank you. In you case they... some thoughts on how to best expand your colony. Oh, okay. In case they actually... Uh, give me things that I can do. Hi, Command. Would like to expand your colony. Please create three additional structures of any type, excluding tunnels. It's up to you to determine what types of structure your colony needs the most. Take a close look at the bottom. Okay. So, we need food. Potash would be good. Let's have a look at the resource overlay. There's some over here. So, what could we get? It's going to help us get the potash. Resource management. I'm assuming that's some sort of mine. No, it's not going to be that one, not going to be that one. Farm tier one, greenhouse, mining structures, iron, copper, pot potash, and zip. Okay, there we go. Yeah, let's go for a normal mine. No powered construction drones in range. What? Darn it. Okay, do you have any other potash anywhere? This is potash, isn't it? Let's see if we can do it on that one. No powered construction drones in range. Darn. It might just be that we go for another farm. Or how much is the drone going to cost? Uh, which one was drones under? 10 nanites, 8 power, 5 workers. So, I mean, if we manage to get... Oh, it's got to be within here, isn't it? Look at that, it's just outside. But that would also give us access to these as well. So I'm wondering whether if we just build this out first. Do that. Yep. And then we'll add into that police drone hub. Supports drones that monitor colonists and structure reduce crime. We haven't quite got to the crime yet. Food is dropping. I'm thinking that might just be the winter, you know. Because we're still making food, but we're not making enough to keep our excess going up. Because in the winter, that drops, doesn't it? Oh, it's still got to be within the drone control, isn't it? So, I mean, I could go... I might as well just connect to here. Let's go there. Well, that counts as one structure. No, we've got to add three. So that counts as one. Let's turn off that overlay. So that's fine, because that's producing all the time. The potash for that would be fantastic. Seven rice an hour. It's just 100% efficiency. I've consulted with Commissioner Veronica, and I'd like to make a few recommendations as to how to best serve your people. Well... If that's what Veronica says, now that your colony has reached 100 colonists, it's time to initiate referendums. Your objective for this mission is to win your first referendum election. Keep your colonists happy. You will need at least 50% of your inhabitants to be happy to win. The first referendum will occur next year. Let's have a look at happiness. 67%. Okay, so the drone structure is built there. Let's get... Uh, nope, not that one. Let's get a mine on was the potash wasn't it yes there we go we can add our roads i want to go to there and then go to there that's it power is doing okay let's have a look at what this is doing oh this is storing power now which is good absorb power provide power idle interesting when a referendum so basically, we just need to keep people happy. Let's have a look. Unemployment, 0%. Jobs filled, 96%. We haven't had as many colonists coming in, or have we? I don't know whether they age and die after a certain amount of time, whether that's how it works or not. Use mining accelerants. Haven't had any of those. What have we got here? Iron... 
Zorium. When mined, Zorium can be used at a Zorium generator to produce prestigious or prodigious, not prestigious. No one's going to know who they are. They're not famous. Prodigious amounts of electricity. We saw that there was a Zorium generators here. We haven't got to that yet, but we've got one structure. There we go. We've got potash. Which one should we use that in? Oh, it's not actually mined any yet, is it? Is it working? Um, oh, we can export some stuff. Let's have a look. What have we got? Iron, we've got 62. Rice and nanites. Rice, oh, export 160 rice. Yes, we want to do that, don't we? There we go, let's do that. Nanites, we've got 305 spare. So we could do that one as well. Can we do both? No, we can't. Let's do that one. Good. That's what we need to do. We're almost at... It's got, it looks like a, it's counting two structures. Even though I've only added one. I wonder whether it's time to upgrade this. Plus 74% food production. Let's upgrade that. This is already upgraded. Oh, use potash. 40% bonus. Yes. I'm going to complain about food at the moment while this is being built. Let's wait for that to finish. Quick sip of my tea. That is looking nice. How's power? 40 spare power. Still plus 11.8. Six per colonist. It's going up. And we're getting a bonus here. Still not enough. I'm wondering whether to build... I mean, I'd like to do more trading for... I mean, that's giving away food, but it's bringing in more pasta, so... Let's have a look. We've got more green over here. This could be a good farm spot, perhaps, over here. I think we need to do that. Let's stick in... 19 nanites, 5 power, 5 workers. We've got the spare workers... Unhappy Colonist 4. Or another greenhouse. Mm, this seems to produce more. Just trying to work out the... I mean, obviously it works during the winter. Can you come out of that menu, please? Thank you. Plus 11.8 rice per hour. Plus 9 bites. So it is less, but it works also during the winter. Summer, 100% growth. Okay, 100% immigration, minus 2 per water per hour. That, this uses less water. Let's go for a greenhouse, tier 2. Yep, let's add that in there, definitely. How's the air quality going? Oh, look! Air quality, much better. Every so it takes its time, actually, to build up. So I might have overdone it on the filters and things. Well, that's worth knowing. A look. Resources overlay. We've got the potash going into... Can I use potash for here as well? I can. And for here. And what have we got? Well done. I'm pleased with the progress of your colony. Thank you! You may select one of the following resources. Nanites, immigrants, or potash. Can I still see the menu down here? I can. Um... Housing capacity used 91%. Jobs filled 91%. So I could take some more people on to help fill up some of the jobs. Could have the more potash. Let's just pause things for a second. Or nanites we've got plenty of. How much potash do we have? Can I just close that? Is it going to let me look at my... It is. Here we go. Potash 1. I reckon we should take the potash. Because we're going to be using a heck of a lot of that. So hopefully we've done the rice. Have they taken it yet? He's filling up. Okay, what have we got here then? Yep, we've done this one. Trade vessel arrived. Import pasta exported 100 rice. So I think we've still got that set. Oh, there we go. Look, there's a nice bar to tell us how much we've done. Pasta. Manufacture requires a meal. Okay, well, some things we haven't got to yet, then. And this one here, yep, yeah, we know about that. 
Okay, so let's see what else we've got. Housing overlay, we're doing fine. Oh, fully occupied. Not quite. We can fit a few more people in. Happiness, why are they unhappy? Everybody's happy. Apart from this person here. What have we got that can make people happy? Hospital, retail centre. Yep, yeah, that would work. A park. Bar and grill. Oh, okay. What does that provide? Some entertainment morale to the surrounding area. So I'm assuming those arrows are showing where the, the happiness will go to. Which is basically everywhere by the look of it. Oh, we'll provide services to, we'll receive workers from. Ah, oh, okay. So that's all the way over here. That big's a park. That was pretty big, wasn't it? Let's stick a bar and grill in the space that I saved. And hopefully, let's get things going again. That would cheer people up. Let's have a look at this. Construction priority. Yep, that's fine. Oh, man, look at that. 3D sandwiches. Let's take a quick look around at some of our people. They're looking happy. 78% happiness, 76. Okay, not bad. Yep, where's everything gone? There we go. So hopefully that will increase the overall happiness. Oh, yeah, look. Did you see really happy faces? 76% happiness. 75%. Nice. 70%. We are going to be winning that referendum, no problem at all. Is this trade vessel it's in orbit? Okay, so that'll be kicking in next. Good, so we've got that one. A new mission is available. Construct a research centre. Hmm. So we can research foods and beverages and chemicals. So that's in this one. As it's flickering at me. Research centre one. So we have the nanites, that's fine. Do we have the power? 70, 80, 90... No, we don't. So we need more power. Which we can add around here, can't we? So let's add some more power in first. Generates up to 26 power. Geothermal, energy battery. Let's go for one of these. And that'll increase because it's got that next to it. Tier 1... Oh, okay, these can be upgraded as well. Two times energy capacity. What if it gives a bonus as well? So things that were around. What are we getting here? 354. So yep, that'll do. Let's put in... Oh wow, this is pretty big. This is a nice spot here, isn't it? Let's go there. That is like the perfect size for researching. I love the look of this alien planet. <laughs> it is really cool, isn't it? I really do like it. Have we still not done all the rice? What's going on? Thank you for the melons. Hmm? You're welcome. Ah, oh, here it comes. That's the trade guy. We're almost there. Look at this thing. What sort of food are we going to research with this? I'll be interested to hear. Loading the cargo. I think that's taking the last rice. This bar seems further along than that bar. <laughs> we'll see when it's done. Oh wow, look at that. That is looking... That is looking pretty nifty, isn't it? Look at that. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, oh, new mission. A new mission is available. Indeed. The inhabitants of the colony ship have heard a great deal about the substance known as mind mold and its remarkable effects on the human brain. It would seem that creation of this substance requires processing of several of the native plant species of Avon Prime. Where we are. Now that you have a research centre, instruct your scientists to research the secret to manufacturing mind mold. We have quinoa or nanites. So where do we go? Let's have a look. So we can select, we've got Amber Joy, so it's caffeine, produces 25%, Bliss, 
What does that do? Causes the exact opposite. Oh, profound happiness. Okay, Intari bread. Type of bread made from Intari. Funny that. Oatmeal the same. Genesarium, Groji beans. There's a whole lit mine mould. Let's pick that one. Enhances the intelligence and concentration of users. Increasing research speed 45%. Manufacturing requires a chemical plant. So I'm assuming we're going to research that first. There's all sorts of things here, isn't there? Okay, well, we'll let, leave that one going. So, yep, we've done that one. Trade vessel arrives. Yep, we've done that. Thank you very much. And we've got the immigration vessel. How is our population looking? 36, 53... Okay, we don't have enough space. Actually, I'm wondering whether... Unemployment, 1%. We don't really want any... Huh? Insufficient power. What? What are you talking about? Oh, of course, yeah, because this isn't going to work, is it? Can that provide power? We've got enough power here. Why is it saying insufficient power? I don't get that. Uh, that's the trade hub. Bar mode, increase the rate at which alcoholic beverages enhancements are used. Bistro mode, high in cuisine. Lounge mode. Hey, what's up? Uh, we'll leave it on that one there. I don't understand why it's saying it doesn't have any power. Powered on. Mm. Oh, what's this? Insufficient housing. Yep, that's fine. I don't really want more people yet. Unemployment 1%. We need to get some more jobs that people can have. Although, I don't know why it says people are unemployed. There are things they can do. Which I'm not sure about that. So let's have a quick look at these. Drones overlay. Yeah, we've got our drone coverage. Structures overlay. Yeah, that's fine. What is this? Integrity. Yeah. On. Producing power. Yep, that's all working fine. Employment, let's have a look. 100%, 100%, percent So some of these it says. Yeah, we need. We do actually need some more people to accept some workers to fill those up. Uh, crops is going fine. We're getting extra food. It says marginal, so I don't know about that actually. Let's take another look at this. Make sure we're doing everything we can. So we could do with more workers, couldn't we? Although, of course, they take they take foods, don't they? So I think in another farm around here somewhere. Just I'm worried about my my food all the time being low. We could just put a tier three farm in. Nine point nine. What's that? 8.7. Where was the 9.9? 11.4. That's, that's a really good one. 10.8, 7.5, 11.7. That's even better. Another 11.7. 12.6. And I'm assuming that counts as well. Did we get that one there, but it's these... whether these count? What it says here, seventy percent. Which could have nothing there. Can't see any that are really bright. So they're going to give loads. This one's got seventy, sixty, seventy, 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 seventy. It needs space for one, two, three, four, five, six. So how would it put that out? Where's the farm? I'm going to try this one here and see how that works, whether that's going to expand and remove these trees, maybe. Let's speed that up. Oh yeah, okay, it has. And it does take into consideration what's underneath. Okay, interesting. Let's go for Quinoa. Objective complete. Research mine mould. Okay. Yep, done that one. Oh. From Intari and Xeno stage, let's just slow down again. This conversion can be formed in a chemical plant. The research centre has no research target. Okay, we'll look at that in a second. 
Yeah, we've got that one. Okay, so we have the mine mould. We are going to be working on producing that in the next episode. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like. Tune in again tomorrow at the same time, 2pm BST, for the next episode of Avon Colony. And if you're new to my channel as well, don't forget, you can see all the different types of games that I'm playing. Lots of new things have started this week. Planet Coaster, Avon Colony... Life is feudal, Forest Village, that's what it's called, lots of things, so be sure to check those out and subscribe so you don't miss them, and I will see you tomorrow for the next episode. Take care, bye-bye.